So there's quite a few items I buy from Sephora over and over again. So I thought I would talk about those today and also talk about maybe some new items I'm gonna buy during the Sephora sale. Hey everyone, it's Melissa. As I said in my intro, I'm going to take stock and look at the things that I buy over and over again from Sephora. I do this twice a year when they have the sales in the fall and then they have it in the spring. There's quite a few items I buy from Sephora. So I like to take an inventory. I like to look at them and say, is it time to buy it this time? Is it time to repurchase it? And some, some of them I have done for years, uh, bought them over and over again. So I know it's not gonna be a waste of money. And so I might as well get it at a percentage off. So I will see if I can, you know, wait until the fall or if I need to go ahead and purchase it now. Uh, and, and I look at these things very carefully. This, you know, I know everybody is doing a, you know, Sephora suggestions and stuff like that. This is not really that. It's more of a, this is, this is what I repurchase. So, you know, I'm just kind of sharing with you what, what I like to buy from Sephora. Now the sale started yesterday. So I'm a little late to getting it up, but I am not rouge, so my discounts can't start till the 9th, and it all runs through the 15th. So now, starting yesterday, the Sephora, 30% off Sephora out items, 20% off rouge, uh, starting the 9th, the, the rouge started yesterday, starting the 9th, uh, will be VIB, which I believe is 15, and then the Insider, which is 10, and they all run through the 15th. So I can't buy my items yet, but I'm planning ahead and taking my inventory to see if, see what, if anything, I need to buy. And I won't say if anything because there are some items I need to buy. So these are my Sephora favorites that I buy over and over again. And also, I found two items that I want to try. Now this is a good time to buy something maybe you've had your eye on and you don't know whether to go ahead and purchase it or not. So you can give it another look, find out if it's worth it for you to try. Also, this is what I do, look for, if there's something that you want to buy that you're very interested in, see if they have a mini version of it, like if it's a mascara. See if they have a mini version or, you know, there's several different things that companies will do a smaller version of. Plus you're getting that discount on top of it so you can maybe try some items that you haven't been able to try before. Also, if there's like an eyeshadow line that you've been wanting to try, see if they make a mini version of the colors that you're interested in. That way you can try the line, try the formula at a reduced cost, plus you're doing a mini version of it, which is going to cost less too, and it will be more affordable to try that line. So these are some of the things that I do in choosing new products to try. So let me go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna start with hair. I love the Bumble and Bumble spray to mode. Every time I do a curling iron or flat iron, I've been doing flat iron curls, flat iron uh, a lot of times too, but I did a curling iron with this. And so I spray it with the Bumble and Bumble spray to mode. It is a flexible working hairspray, which means that you can spray it and it will hold it, but you can still run your fingers through it. It isn't stiff. So I can do my curls and I'll spray it in a section. If I don't do that, by the time I get through and go back to the first section, it's already fallen a whole lot. But when I spray with this, it stays put while it cools down, but it isn't so stiff that I can't run my fingers in it. So as you can see, it's well loved. I've lost the top and then this is kind of broken but it still sprays so i'll still use it i think i've got about this much left so i will repurchase this right now because i know i'll use it and they have a mini version of it too so if you're wanting to try this try the mini version okay i hesitated to mention this but this is something that i use so and i bought it several times both of them it's Kerastase, and the reason I hesitate because it is expensive, it is on the pricey side, all the Kerastase products are. Now, I usually use nine times out of 10, the Nioxin number four line. I, I tried the number six, and I talked to you all about it, but I went back to the four because I just like it better. Um, so I tried that, I do the whole number four line of Nioxin, but occasionally, when I feel like I need a little bit of extra body to my hair, maybe a little more, you know, make it a little thicker looking, I'll go to the Kerastase 
uh, Densifique line. It is for thinning hair. I'll use the shampoo and then I'll use the mask. I don't use them full time because I just can't afford to. They're too pricey. So most of the time I use them nioxin and then periodically, maybe once a month, I'll do a shampoo or two of this to give it some extra oomph. Then they go back to the nioxin. So I bought this last year and I still have some. So I think if I'm careful, I can make it through till November. So I'm not gonna repurchase this, but I thought I would mention it, that I do buy it regularly and have for several years. Okay, now here's a little hint that has worked for me. The Boom Boom Cream. I bought, this is a bigger thing of it, but I bought that I'm gonna link a little jet set. It's a little travel case of the Boom Boom products, so Sol de Janeiro. So it's the Boom Boom Cream, uh, and it is the spray, and it's a little thing of body wash, and it's good to travel with. It's $30, so I bought that. Uh, because I like this so much and I wanted to try the body wash and I like the body wash a whole lot But here's what I've discovered about the boom boom or bum bum cream. I've seen it pronounced both ways uh, so I Do a lot of exercises to try to keep my arms full. I lift a lot of weights and do a whole lot of exercises well since I've had mastectomy and then recently the reconstruction I haven't been able to do my weights or do heavier exercises anymore. So I've lost muscle tone in my muscle. Uh, and you know, women have these saggy, have a tendency to, I guess men do too, have a tendency to get this saggy area, these bat wings right here that, you know, you move your arms and they keep on, they're still flapping an hour later, it's not pretty. So, you know, I work to combat that. But also that comes with that is crepey skin. And it looks like, it makes your, your skin looks like, you know, you wrinkle up tissue paper and do it back out again and you got all those little lines in it and y'all know what I'm talking about. It's, it's very lovely and attractive. So, not. I've always used the Glytone Exfoliating Body Lotion and I feel like it always helped with the crepiness. And you know, I kept using that and I use it every night before I go to bed. I, I like it. I put it on my arms and I put it all over my whole body. I feel like it helps with my spots. I've used it for years and I feel like it's helped with the crepiness when I do my exercises. But since I've lost the muscle tone, I've noticed the crepiness sneaking back in even using the Glytone body lotion. So what I did was I thought, well, this Bum Bum Cream or Boom Boom Cream is supposed to help with cellulite. I have my doubts, but I'll put it on my arms and see if it helps with the crepiness. Well, doggone it, I believe it has. I, I've looked and I've looked and I've looked. Of course, my muscle tone is not there, so it's, you know, flabby. But I don't have the crepiness. It has helped with the crepiness. So I'll do this in the morning before I put on my clothes. I'll rub it in so I won't get on my clothes. Then at night, I will put on the Glytone, and I think it's helped with the crepiness. I really do. I talked about it on Instagram, and I don't know why, but I do feel like it has. So I'm going to continue to use that, and so that's why I wanted to buy that Jet Set. Okay, my cleanser. I love the Shiseido cleansers, and my very favorite one is the Clarifying Cleansing Foam. This is the perfect foam for me. I've mentioned a million times, but I like to get a foam on my skin, foam it up, and kind of work it into my skin. Then I like to take one of the washcloths that I knit, and I like to wipe off the foam. And then I like to, you know, kind of splash water on after that. So I like a foam that rinses off well, that, that doesn't leave any kind of lotion feeling behind. I like it just to feel real clean, not dry, but real clean and neutral. And that's what this one does. You know, I've, I've, I've really worked around and tried all kinds of foams and all kinds of gels and everything. And this one was the one that's right for me. I bought it over and over again. This is a full one, but I don't have a backup. So I may go ahead and order it another one because I know I will use it. So why not? So I'm going to put that to order again. And I know I have to order this because I'm way down to the very end. I have very little left. It is my very favorite uh, foundation and that is the NARS Light, Refle Right Light Reflecting Foundation and I'm in the color Santa Fe. This foundation is no secret that I love it. I feel like it makes my skin look much better than what it actually is. I feel like it makes a glow on my face, not a greasy glow, but a natural glow. And I just, 
I just feel like it really makes my skin look better, my makeup look better, and I, I tell you what, I kind of feel perkier when I wear this. I do. I feel like, you know, my skin has a little bit of a glow in it. Maybe then my cheeks feel a little bit more glowy. Maybe my eyes feel a little bit brighter, and so maybe I feel brighter all over. I know that sounds, the progression sounds kind of silly, but something like that sometimes can make you kind of perk you up a little bit. So I want to get this again. Uh, I love it. It's a perfect shade for me. Santa Fe, perfect. I know they're going to discontinue it someday. I just feel it in my bones or change it where it's not as good anymore. They always do that. They try to think something is that's just perfect. They will think I can do better and they make it worse. So <laughs> I'm buying it while I can. Now, I have ordered or I am ordering two eyeliners. I'll tell you about the second one in a minute. Now, y'all know my ultimate eyeliner line is the Victoria Beckham. I just feel like especially that Bordeaux, it just really gets your, it just deposits it, the color so completely where it needs to be to brighten your eyes. It's a very intense color, very soft, and it's just, I love it. But if I'm going to wear a black eyeliner, which I will wear a black eyeliner when I do a real bold eye, um, I will tight line and do it in my waterline. Uh, when I like a bold eye, and I'll do that with a real pale lip, but when I do that, I want a black eyeliner that shows and is not gray or not charcoal, but is black, but is a soft black, and I have found that time after time, year after year, with uh, Urban Decay Black Market. Now, I forgot the sale was coming up, so I went ahead and bought me one, so y'all know that I really do like it. But I don't always wear a black eyeliner, but when I do, I want it to be black, but not, not harsh black. I want it to be a soft black. The thing I have a problem with charcoal is it can tend to have tints of brown. I'm so color sensitive. I've always been real color sensitive. But the charcoal can have just hints of a deep brown in it, which I don't want. And the gray can have slight, slight hits, hints of a blue in it which I don't want. So I looked and looked and looked and I tried and I swatched and I swatched years ago to get the perfect soft black and I have it in black market. So um, I'm going, I did, I, I'm mad because I went ahead and got one before I realized the sale, but that is one that I buy year after year over and over again. Okay, I recently did a thing on tubing mascaras and my favorite was the Tartlet. Now here's another example of try small things before you buy. They make this in a mini version. This is the Tartlet tubing mascara. I, mascara, I love it, but you may not like it or you may be wondering, oh, will I like it? Do I want to buy a full size of it? Well, here's your chance to buy it at a discount and buy the mini version of it just to see what you think. Good way to try it without wasting quite so much money in case you don't like it. My favorite eye pencil, and I am going to go ahead and get that. Now the mascara I just bought, so I should be fine for right now. This one's getting a little on my eye pencil. It is the Precisely, let's see, the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. I'm in the color three. I heard about this from my, one of my best friends, Mary Glitzy Fritzy. I do it like Mary taught me, go up this way, and then I still feather it up. I like to try to make it right through here, like in two little points before I go back down again. And this pencil just does it perfectly. And yes, I am going to do another one. It's going to cost me some money, but this, these, these things won't go to waste. Okay, I'm going to have to get this again too. Uh, Benefit makes a beautiful... Uh, gel, a gel, a setting gel that just holds your eyebrows perfectly. I like the way, nine times out of ten, I'll use the wax. I like the wax a lot because I feel like it makes it fluffier. I don't, uh, I fluff, I do it up, you know, like that, like Mary taught me, and then, you know, I take this little brush and just do it through like that. I just, I just think it's wonderful. It's just, it, it's just good. It makes them look like they've been blow dried. <laughs> <laughs> like you blow dried your blow dried your eyebrows. They look fluffy and fresh. I like this. And I just bought another one of this. 
at the last sale so I don't need it again because I don't use it all the time but I want to mention it because I have bought this one over and over again so years ago my very favorite lipstick to wear with a real bold eye and to get um, you know that real real pale lip with it was the uh, Tom Ford nude vanilla well they discontinued it and I went this was I guess about six years ago yes it was six years ago I went to a mall and I went up to it was down in Atlanta and I went up to one of the people and I said can you help me find something that is like nude vanilla and she said Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW and she was right and I've worn it ever since um, so this is was probably about this in November it's probably my third one or fourth one that I have bought during all that time because I don't wear it every day but when I want a nude lip this is the perfect nude lip and it's just lovely Kim KW they still have it I looked it up I was afraid that they didn't but they do um, perfect one that matches up if you liked nude vanilla then you will love this one and then a lot of times I will take my MAC spice lip pencil put it all over my lip and then put this on top of it and that makes a pretty color too so the Kim KW is also one of my favorites and don't need it this time but we'll see in the fall and I have to get another one of these I'm scraping the end on top of the Kim KW I think it's just lovely to put white Russian uh, lip gloss by Benefit no by Buxom I always want to call it by Benefit by Buxom the white Russian by Buxom uh, it's just it's just perfect I love this wipe it off before I put it back in uh, I've got Oh, I figure about that much left so I could use some more I buy this periodically this is not a new item I have bought this over and over again it's it's pretty special especially over the Kim KW it's just lovely okay I mentioned that I wanted to try two new things I will periodically during the sale try something that I want to try uh, to be able to get that discount I like I like Selena Gomez and uh, only murders in the building I just for some reason the way she speaks and everything is just I, I like watching her I like listening to her and I like that TV show so I've kind of become a fan of her acting I don't know anything about her personally she may be mean as a snake but I just you know looking at her acting I like her so I, I know she has a line rare beauty so I thought I want to try some rare beauty products so I saw that she had an eyeliner and she had one well let me go back my very favorite eyeliner of all time is Bordeaux with uh, that was by Victoria Beckham and it is $32 well I saw Selena Gomez has a liner it's the rare beauty by Selena Gomez perfect strokes long wear and waterproof gel liner and she has one in the color compassion for $19 plus I can get my discount um, and doggone it it looks pretty close I don't know I'm looking at it online but it looks like it's going to be a match for the Bordeaux so I'm going to order it I'm going to try it for those of us that love the Bordeaux if this matches up this would be much much cheaper than the Victoria Beckham now it's got some tall tall boots to fill because this is pretty darn perfect but I'm going to give this one a go and then I'll let you all know what I what I think about it the color the intensity how creamy it is how well it lasts how intense it goes on your eyes and how much it brings out your eye color those are things that I look for in a liner so we'll see about that one okay and another one my last one that I'm going to try I'm going to try two new products that I've never tried before and it's going to be a rare beauty it's her mini so another mini you know good way to try things the mini soft pinch liquid blush it has a little doe foot applicator I don't think that'll bother me I'll just I always do it a dot here a dot here a dot here and then blend up I learned that from Mary Kay they always said to do when you're doing a cream product put it here underneath your pupil here here and here and you'll get the perfect application we'll see I got it in the color happy it's a nice pink color all of my or most of my blushes are like coral or pinkish coral this one's a pure pink I think I might need it for summer especially to wear with some of my cooler uh, looks and maybe to wear with the Kim KW lipstick so gonna try that many so I feel like that's a pretty good way to be able to try it okay I've talked a mile a minute um, I'm going to link my 
jewelry down. I've just been so tickled with these necklaces. I've got, I got this one from Amazon, the M one, and then I got this one and this one from Uncommon James. So I will link those down below. Uh, but I've got, I've had more compliments on this little trio of necklaces and I wear, I've been wearing them all the time. If I would mention that, I'll link them down below. Okay, so be sure and like and subscribe and do all the YouTube things if you don't mind. And I, I helps me a lot. I appreciate it. And everybody have a wonderful weekend. Take care. I'll talk to you all in a couple of days. And see you soon. Thanks a lot. Love you all. Bye-bye.